How's it going, everybody? My name is Sugar T. Welcome back for more adventures. It's been a minute. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. We're gonna play Dredge. Um, like and subscribe. Let's go fishing. From what I understand, Dredge is a fishing horror game. I don't know exactly how the two are going to correlate, but it should be fun. Angler wanted. Well, that's me. Is that me? Oh, look how good my beard looks. So handsome. Maybe that wasn't me. Hmm. Hmm. I hope that wasn't me. We'll find out. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cool wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Oh, so that was me. A short man is shouting orders to a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. What's up, chief? Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. You're not funny. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Probably, probably blinded me, and that's why I crashed. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay. Wazd. Classic Wazd. Oh. Oh, that's real sensitive. Okay. I have to fish. Oh, okay, I see. Hmm. Cool. Oddly relaxing. I ran out of room, so I'm coming back. You step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. So you just hung out all day? Ah, oh, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matters of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds to ha on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Mm hmm So to recap, you'll need to sell fish at the local market, pay off your debts, and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, where am I selling this stuff? A local fishmonger will praise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Alright. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. A familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. What's up? Uh, you know, I don't really care about a whole lot of what you guys got going on. I just want to sell you fish, catch fish, and just kind of be a cool. No, oh, don't sell that. Ooh. How'd I do? Oh, I could have hit sell all fish. Huh. Anyways, the mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Cool. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to prove, provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can make use of something like this. Okay. Thanks, I guess. One last thing. Our local shipwreck... Right mentioned she might be able to do some modifications. Uh, let's... Okay, so that's missions. Got it. 
Encyclopedia. Whatever. To the shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. I expect that. Uh, if I get hurt, you can damage the ship. Um... I don't... I don't know what to do with any of this, honestly. So... I'm just gonna leave for now and hoard all my stuff. Research. What the hell? Yeah, let's get let's get faster ship. Improve onboard engine now available in store. So do I gotta go back to you for that? Mm, cool, cool, cool. I guess I'll just hit the hay. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, there we go. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage. Well, I could have used that yesterday. Jerks. They crashed me on purpose. I already know it. You don't have the right equipment. Hmm. Alrighty. Keep your secrets, son. Oh, there's more than one town. Cool. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fill it, I'll pay above normal. All right, I got you, Kaboo. Okay, so I need the shallows one. Got it. Okay, you can have all that. I guess I'm going to get my shallows one. I feel like obviously this one's better, but oh, okay, I see. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, we'll go catch that nonsense in the morning. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps at the lighthouse. She stops some distance away. It looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Uh, I've come to see the area. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. What a delight! Oh my god, she was so sweet. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Morrow? Would you please give this package to... Awkward. You got it. Okay, I guess we're heading east. I'm gonna assume that's probably Little Morrow. Oh, things are spooky. I love it. Ooh, cool. Huh. Oh, well, squids? So you could catch different fish depending on day or night. You know what? That makes sense, though. That at least makes sense, so. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Woo, 25 bucks. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't... Same makes sense to me. You're gonna give me a book. Cool. Uh, trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques and the shelves full of jewelry and other. Okay, so I probably can't sell you fish. Hmm. Freaking nothing. I'm out of here then, old man. 
The mayor is walking quickly towards you. It seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partially to your efforts, Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day. In fact, I've granted you consent with the shipyard, to ex the shipwright to expand her facilities. Cool. Hi, Doc. Significant improvements. Extra space. Wow. Okay. Uh... Okay, I don't have any of that nonsense that you're asking for. Yeah. Bug it. Oh, I should have done that at night. That's alright. Go. We're going back. Woo! Look how fast I am now. Oh, and it tells you if you can catch them or not. That's nice. Oops. Raspberry, that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I ain't scared of no ghosts. I'll be fine. Give me some of them good boys. Okay. Uh. That's what daddy needs for his mission. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. I like this. I like I like how they did it where it's simple, but it's also different. So not every not every time is the same fishing. Oh no. I should probably head out. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce. Okay, so you get anxiety as a fisherman. That makes sense after a boat crash. A shipwreck? Boat crash? Whatever the hell you want to call it. Either ways. Yes. I got your eel right here, my guy. The fishmonger wraps up the fish, hands you some money. Oh, wow. 50 bucks. Got another order here. Cool. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, I didn't get enough fish. I'm sorry I failed you. Uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and sell the rest of those bad boys. Guess it's just sleep time for now. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Thanks. I guess. 107 bones, huh? Shit. Uh, are you selling anything that would be useful to me? Oh, you're only one faster? Hmm. I don't have a need for either of those. Remember, you don't have to have all those materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry docks. I don't even know how to get material, lady. So, I don't know what to tell you about that. Oh yeah, books. Uh, oh, so you just read, you know, when you've got time or something, it seems. Cool. That makes sense. Oh, I hate how spooky it is, but I love it, too. Oops. Shit. Noise. Boy, this sure is a problem. We're gonna have to readdress that. Can I sleep here? So that I don't get murdered by 
spooky shit in the night. Oh good, this is what I needed. Oh. Huh. Cool. Oh. Cool. All right. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 I got your fish. Uh, you can have a normal one. And that guy. 88 bucks, woo! Crab pots. All right, I mean. Ooh, thanks, man. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger, grins raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep... What the... What the hell? He slices the fish open from his stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. What the hell? What the hell? Man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you look, what you took. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay, cut south. Okay. Man, you just don't have anything, really, for me. Yeah, I just... I don't get your whole vibe, lady. But that's fine. Oh, I have a map! Huh. Well, on that, I guess we're gonna end it here for now. Uh, we got Mystery Man... Whatever his old deal is, we're going to go find him, I guess, next time. But uh, for now, thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, have fun, and I'll see you guys very soon. Appreciate it.